here we are with the main gold episode 12 which i think is the last episode so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode Hell yeah. Chain is breaking. Let's go. <coughs> Hell yeah. And now fuck this boy up. I don't want to see him again. So was her power still somewhat sealed because of her past, <clears throat> because she felt bad about it, and now it's truly unsealed, unbroken, whatever. <clears throat> Fuck him up. And this all happened basically in an instant for him. Intro. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I mean, they clearly have to fuck him up, right? Because right now he's not, not backing down. And if they don't fuck him up now, what will he do? What will happen that he backs down or retreats that they can get out of here safe, right? <coughs> So they obviously, I would say they obviously have to fuck him up. Um, other, so that he is like, oh shit, I have to get out of here. Otherwise I'm fucked. <laughs> That's my, my thought process. Because, like I said, otherwise I don't see how they could get out of here. Because no one can, no one can come inside from outside because of, the other girl that it, that is like his accomplice that basically sealed off the whole place. So, if they can't beat him with the people that are inside, what will they do? I hate this little piece of shit so much. Looks pretty dumb.
it shouldn't exist, but we want her so th that we can use her. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> On my verme. <laughs> I guess there will be something that will stop it. Silver mana, gold mana, here we go. That was tea. Are they dancing? <laughs> Almost. His eyes again. <laughs> Fuck you, little bitch. <laughs> So what next? That should have happened to him. Just obliterate him. Oh, she comes in. They had a time limit? Why? Before the steel comes undone and some people can go, can get inside again? So that's how it ends. Oh my god, this is stupid. They should have just killed him. Done. Don't say wait. Attack him if you want him to wait. I hate this little bitch. Body more. Hell yeah.
Okay. In the classroom? Still half an episode left. I guess she put some part of her memory in the book, right? And now it's like used up. <clears throat> oh, some training? It's funny that the swords always land with the with the pointy end in the ground. Oh, hello, Chris. Oh my God, hello, yes. Physically, you're a wimp. God damn. Hello. Oh my god. Hello. Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> and this is how the story ends. Alto was dead. <laughs> Not strong enough. <laughs> I have to be strong enough to fight the whole world alone. <laughs> <laughs> so romantic. <clears throat> she fingered him. <laughs> Oh, hello. Here we go again. You are so forceful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's not what I mean. Holy shit. Good Oh, student council president. Creepy face at the end. Hell yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Except Mark, right? Oh, he did pass. God damn.
or tails out. And her horns. Indeed, they're all. <laughs> Okay, that was the episode, and like I said, I think this is the last episode. I mean, it very much seemed that way, right? But what I think is interesting, before I get to the episode and talk about the episode, what I think is interesting is that we have the student council, right? And um, we didn't saw any one of them, really. We only saw a little bit of the student council president in, in a few scenes, and... Then obviously Chris, but the others, not much really. Like nothing really. The scenes we saw were very minimal, and otherwise we just saw them like all together, right, talking when Alto was around and stuff. So that was a bit surprising that we saw basically nothing of the student council, really. Um, but yeah. Not what I expected with the fight. Obviously, I said that maybe they will they will beat him up, and he's like, "Oh shit, this is no good. I have to retreat." But nope, that's not what it is. Um, it's just that the guys from outside probably were about to break the seal, or whatever you want to call it, and would have come in. So they had to retreat. Otherwise, there would be maybe too many. But that is crazy that. You have two Platinums and this guy, the little bitch, is like the best, uh, the best Platinum or whatever because he, I mean, he's maybe not the best. I mean, I think they said he's the best, right? <clears throat> because he beats the tests and everything, like the, the best and everything. Um, and... That's some people coming from outside is enough to be a danger when they are supposedly so strong that they even can fight against the baddest of the demons, the May, who is supposedly super strong. Maybe she is in a weakened state, so she can maybe not go all out and fight at her fullest potential. And if she could, maybe then they wouldn't stand a chance. But maybe because she is in a weakened state still, because she is not. It's, 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 it hasn't been long since she got out of the book, right? Um, and she is reliant on the mana from Alto. So maybe she's not full potential yet. Um, okay, they retreated. Not quite what I thought. Um, but I guess it makes sense. If Alto could have beat him, beaten him now, right? That he would have. That he would be like, oh shit. They are strong, I have to get out of here. Then Alto would just get stronger. So how, what would they do to come back and try to beat him later, right? So I guess it makes sense. Um, but it sucks because I would have liked to see this little bitch die right here. And I mean, otherwise... A small training session with <laughs> Chris. <laughs> nice outfit. And then, yeah talking about determination, your goals, and why. And then some more bonding with Vame. And yeah, now that it's out, that the true feelings of Alto for Vame, she is like not so... She is not so much about the teasing anymore, right? She's like more embarrassed now and more sensitive when it comes to that stuff. Than before because before she just teased him left and right and didn't care if she was naked and whatnot and now she's like oh no he sees my boob up i'm embarrassed um but i mean yeah that was basically the episode right <clears throat> i think the manga is around where we are now with the anime like a bit further ahead i think but not much so 
yeah if there will be a season two at some point i think it will take a few years um or maybe there won't be a season two because maybe it just didn't do well enough or maybe after a few years when there is potential for another season maybe it turns out that it's like yeah it's forgotten basically right that's like yeah okay it's been so long season two makes no sense but i mean i guess how much time passes between seasons doesn't really matter right i mean look at bleach bleach is over for like over a decade i think <laughs> maybe almost two decades almost and now it comes back with the final season right <laughs> i think it's the final season right um it wraps everything up um so yeah i mean time doesn't really matter i guess but i mean bleach is like one of the big three animes right so exceptions can be made i guess <laughs> um but i mean let's say maybe two or three years i mean re-zero took like a few years to get a season two um so we have to see and wait but if there would be a season two i would be happy i would like to watch it and otherwise yeah like i said it was a good episode it was a good uh, it wasn't good it was a good anime uh but like i said in a few episodes it had some downsides for me right like basically i think it was episode five right from episode five when professor obsidian did his shit with uh, vime that's when it dipped for me a little bit and now the end with the little shit it dipped again a little bit in like two episodes ago um when before the flashback so yeah there were some downs but overall i enjoyed it i liked the dynamic between alto and vermei and i liked vermei for obvious reasons and I'm very much interested to see what's the whole deal of the student council president because she seems kind of mysterious, right? She seems sometimes she's smiling and sometimes she just has the creepiest looks. Um, so yeah, interested in what her deal is. And her sword has an eye, so that's also very interesting. Doesn't scream good good person if the, if your sword has an eye right um so yeah i don't know i guess that's basically it yeah so yeah <laughs> if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say thanks for watching and till next time bye bye